Last time, we saw how to use the anchor tag to make connections from one web page to another. Sometimes the web page we connect to are within our own website. Sometimes they're at another website. This podcast is going to show you how to make an internal link. That's a link that you would use to navigate within your own web page to move from one area of the page to another. The key to being able to do this is the name attribute of the anchor tag. You can see here the keyword. Here is name. And it's an attribute of the anchor tag. Now we would use this to name a section of the web page we want to go to. And as the attribute name name suggests, we're going to name this area. Now I like to make these names short and sweet. And so I've set this name to be three characters long, O-N-E. So my entire anchor would look like this. I begin my naming with a name equals quote one end quote. I then have some text, for instance, amendment one, and then I would close that anchor tag. I've now defined the area. And when I hit a link to go to one, it's going to take me to amendment one. As long as I'm calling the first amendment or amendment one, one, I might as well continue with that and call the second one two, the third one three, right on through to the tenth amendment, we'll call that ten. Now, the tag that will get us to Amendment 1 looks like this. It would be a href equals quote. Now, it's not just the name 1. I've got to have that pound sign in front of the 1. So it's a href equals quote pound sign 1 end quote. The pound sign indicates it's internal. Then I'm going to have to anchor this to some text, so I've used read amendment number one, and again I close the anchor tag with a stop A. And that's it for this podcast. Hopefully you've learned something.